Hi everyone, welcome to Medcracker. In this video, we'll discuss about venous drainage of the face. Facial vein and retromandibular vein are the major vessel, uh, major vein that drains the face. So we'll discuss uh, about formation of facial vein, then retromandibular vein. This is facial vein and retromandibular vein. We'll talk about formation of facial vein first. This is supratrochlear vein and this is supraorbital vein. Supratrochlear and orbital join together and formation of angular vein occur at the medial angle of the eye. This is medial angle of the eye. Here two vein join and formation of angular vein occur. Angular vein passes downwards as a facial vein. This is facial vein and, and it also receives the another vein, deep facial vein, which has deeper connection to pterygoid plexus and goes to cavernous sinus. We'll discuss at the end about this. And also facial vein receives the different branches and continues down here and another is retromandibular vein retromandibular vein is formed by first of all superficial temporal vein here is superficial temporal vein and it receives maxillary vein it receives the maxillary vein before the tragus of ear this is the tragus of the ear and before the tragus superficial temporal vein and medial sorry maxillary vein join each other and formation of retromandibular vein occur formation of retromandibular vein occur then retromandibular vein has two branches this is anterior branch and this is posterior branch anterior branch and jo anterior branch joins with facial vein to form common facial vein anterior branch of retromandibular vein joins with facial vein to form common facial vein which drains into internal jugular vein and posterior branch of super retromandibular vein joins with red posterior auricular vein posterior auricular vein is coming from posterior side of the ear that joins with posterior branch of retromandibular vein and drains into external jugular vein and finally to subclavian vein. Let's draw the venous drainage in a simpler way. This is anterior side, this is posterior side, supratrochlear and supra or vital vein joins together forming the angular vein angular vein continues as facial vein this is the deep facial vein joined together and continues and this is anterior branch of retro mandibular vein retro mandibular vein anterior and posterior division is anterior and facial vein continues as common facial vein common facial vein into internal jugular vein and then superficial temporal vein continues combined with maxillary vein forming the retromandibular vein retromandibular vein anterior and posterior division posterior division joined with posterior auricular vein posterior auricular vein and posterior branch joins and together as external jugular vein external jugular vein and internal jugular vein this is all about the venous drainage of the face now let's talk about important area of the face that is danger area of the face in figure we can see the area near the nose and upper lip is danger area of the face this is danger area of the face danger area of the face is area of the face near the nose drained by facial vein 
This area is drained by facial vein and this is dangerous area. Why this is dangerous area? Let's understand from the figure. Here, this area near the nose and upper lip is danger area. It is drained by facial vein. This is facial vein we already discussed. And if any infection occur here, it can spread into intracranial vein. That is cavernous sinus via superior ophthalmic vein, inferior ophthalmic vein, also deep facial vein into cav pterygoid venous plexus and pterygoid venous plexus towards the emissary vein to cavernous sinus. So due to risks of spread of infection from this area to into cavernous sinus, this area is danger area of the face here in vessel of the head there is no valve so blood can circulate blood can flow in any direction so if infection occur here in danger area may spread into cavernous sinus and can leads to complication like meningitis meningitis cavernous sinus thrombosis so this area is danger area pustule pimples or boils or other skin infection particularly on the side of nose and upper lip may spread to cavernous venous sinus via the facial vein pterygoid venous plexus and ophthalmic vein there is no valve in the facial vein or any other venous channel in the head so due to absence of venous channel so blood can move in any direction so if infection occur in dangerous area danger area of the face and if spread it into cavernous sinus then can leads to meningitis or cavernous sinus thrombosis so any infection in danger area should be handled with very care